so in this lecture we will discuss about the atmospheric pressure now what is atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is the pressure that is due to the atmosphere if this is your earth let's say then the air molecule near the earth all the molecules are here are having a gravitational force because of their weight and the gravitational force that is attracting them towards the surface of the earth okay so now as you know the gravitational force is more nearer to the surface that is why more air molecule is near the surface and as we go up the air molecule density decreases so if one molecule is here let's say this is a molecule now this molecule will have pressure of the other molecule the weight of the other molecule then the weight of the other molecule then the weight of other molecule other molecule so there is a series of pressure of molecules over that area so the molecule at the bottom will have a greater pressure okay greater atmospheric pressure over here so that is why it will feel heavy but the molecule over here will not get that much pressure because the molecule above him above this is actually less so that is why the atmospheric pressure over here will be less next we will uh, discuss about the static pressure and the dynamic pressure so now let's try to understand this diagram this diagram shows this is the surface okay and this is your height against the surface that means the height is increasing this is 6 kilometers to up to 100 kilometers now as you can see at the bottom or at the surface the pressure is high the pressure value is here okay so as you go up the pressure decreases go up the pressure decreases decreases and up to 100 kilometers the pressure decreases to very minimum so this is the pressure variation of pressure with height now let's imagine this is a table okay over this table we know that there are air molecules over the table up to a pressure over the table surface okay and you know the molecule are everywhere right yeah molecules are everywhere so there are molecules below the surface of the table also so now what happens this molecule is also putting a pressure that means the atmospheric pressure is for uh, felt from every direction so everywhere the atmospheric pressure is existing so we call it the static pressure okay static pressure the pressure because of the static molecule of the air so this is our static pressure then comes to dynamic pressure let's say if you are driving a bike or a bicycle right so if you are driving a bicycle or bike so you are going to at a speed at a very good speed so air molecules over here those air molecules will hit you right and you will feel a extra force because of the motion because of your motion either you are moving or the air molecules are moving or you are moving you will face a pressure surge over your surface on your face or on your body everywhere so now this pressure is half rho v square so rho is the density of the air and v is the velocity of the molecule now velocity if the air molecule is standing or if there is no wind but if you are traveling then also you will feel the pressure so now this is we understand as dynamic pressure right dynamic pressure so what we can conclude we can conclude this way static pressure and dynamic pressure when air is at rest its molecules are in random motion all over like this the pressure exerted by these molecules is uniform in all directions the pressure is called static pressure or barometric pressure if the air is in motion 
an additional pressure is exerted in the direction opposite to the flow. This is called dynamic pressure or wind pressure. Wind pressure is used in the design of speed indicator. So this is your uh, static pressure equation or the Bernoulli's equation. You don't need it to pass your DGC exam. Okay, only you need to understand the static pressure. Then we have the dynamic pressure. This is dynamic pressure. And uh, this is half rho V square. And then we get the total pressure. The total pressure is felt on the pitot tube of your aircraft. We are not discussing here the uh, pitot tube, so we uh, just skip this part. Now let's see what uh, says in IC Joshi. It says the atmospheric pressure at any level is the weight of the column of air unit cross section. expand extending variety up to the top whatever now relationship between the pressure and altitude at 27 feet mean sea level to 27 feet at 20,000 27 feet 1 hectopascal pressure changes we take it up to 30 feet so 30 feet if you your height is uh, increasing up to 30 feet so 1 hectopascal pressure will be decreased okay this is an MCQ question now let's take, have a look of the variation of pressure in warm and cold air warm air is less dense than cold air so uh, that obviously you know warm air means they are highly expanded the molecules are expanded everywhere so that is why the density is less okay where the cold air are the molecules can exist very closer to one another so that is why the cold air is more dense a pressure value say 35 hectopascal will be at a higher height over a warm column rather than a cold column see the figure we'll see the figure in the next page now let's understand this diagram to understand this diagram let's take an example you are at the mean sea level okay and the pressure at mean sea level is 1013 now today is a cold day okay today is a cold day see you already cold day now if we have a cold day today let's say the air molecules are very close to one another right it is very close now if it is very close so then as you go up the your pressure drop will be very faster so that means if you go 1000 feet or let's say if you go 5000 feet then let's get get 5000 feet and your pressure becomes 995 for example it's, it may not be uh, mathematically correct i'm giving an example because the molecules are very close so 995 at 5000 feet so another day is a hot day and the pressure at the bottom is let's say 1000 and as you go 5000 the pressure drop is not that much so today the pressure will be let's say uh, 998 okay 998 so that means if it is a colder day the pressure drop is very faster with height now come to this diagram this is your 5000 feet line okay 5000 feet line so from the ground let's say this is 850 hectopascal line this is below 5000 feet so today you are getting 850 hectopascal at very closer this is sea level at very closer height today you are getting the 850 hectopascal but in a warmer day that 850 hectopascal you will not get here it will be risen up to a higher altitude so that is why today you are getting the 850 hectopascal at a very high altitude already higher height okay so because the air is expanded so these are isobaric lines we'll discuss what is isobar now isobaric levels are the 
lower height over cold column than the warm column okay variation of pressure with warm and cold air there are mcqs that comes in next classes we will discuss this more precisely okay and we will solve some questions and page to page i will try to explain the ic joshi and guys if you like uh, this classes actually i don't get much time so you just comment below if you want more classes like this so maybe uh, with time i will try to make another uh, presentation another video and try to cover the whole book with uh, questions thank you